Hi, Aunt Sharice. This is Sim. Um, and I'm standing in Mom's apartment looking at her curio cabinet, and there are a few things that I need a little help with. Now, we've already discussed that these are from her mother. Um, there is this candle holder. It's very pretty. The bottom of it says 6236. It has various forms of flowers on the top. It is a ivory colored porcelain. Um, oops. There is also a set of blue dessert glasses like this. There's about four of them. And likewise, oops, pardon me, a set of four small red stemware glasses like this. And again, it appears to be glass, not crystal. I apologize for the bad camera work. There's a matching pair of little glass, not even sure what to call it, objects. By the way, don't you love that statue? It's gorgeous. John gave her that. <laughs> Let's see. Another of the pair of the dessert bowls. The topper from her wedding cake with John Chiaponi. That's from John Gallup. The music box um, right here plays the Blue Danube, which was her favorite waltz. Um, this. I have no idea where this comes from. This piece I know all too well. Um, the candy dish. Again, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Moving down a level. I know about the Hummel. This is crystal. Um, the demi tasse cup and matching saucer. There appear to be no markings on the bottom, but it's got a delicate blue pattern with a silver rim. Some more of the short red stemware. Um, a bit of carnival glass. And the candlestick behind the bunny. I actually have no idea where the bunny came from either, but it's copyright 1993 in China. <laughs> so I don't think I need to worry about that being one of our heirlooms. Um, three boxes in the front clearly belong together. They are all porcelain de Paris France since 17, depuis 1776, since, 19, since 1776. They all have a flower on top and a pretty little rose inside. Um, they speak to me of the 70s or 80s, actually, but, you know, I could be mistaken there. Again, we've got um, a crystal relish tray and a number of crystal bowls down here. And it seems like I remember that one or more of her crystal bowls might have been from Great Grandma Rouse. Last but not least, the pair of these cups. 
The egg, by the way, is one that she made herself. Um, there's another one, but it's not here. Oops. It's not here in the curio cabinet. I took that because it was requested I bring one of her eggs to um, the service at the UU church. They wanted to see. Oh. Gosh, I'm sorry for the bad quality. My husband left the air conditioning on and set the thermostat for 50 something, so we walked in and it was freezing this morning. Um, anyway, oh. those are pretty much the things that I had questions about and was hoping you knew anything. Oh, oh, one more thing while I'm thinking of it. This is an awful video. Aren't you glad I'm not a filmmaker? <laughs> I don't even have my thoughts put together straight. One more thing. Um, these glasses, does this mean anything to anyone? Um, I'm thinking probably not, but it doesn't hurt to check. Yeah, that's the only thing up there that could be. And I've got some plates here. Um, these two plates appear to match. The back says Harkerware. Since 1840, USA. Again, with the oven-proof Harker wear. And this one is Liberty Blue. Oops. So. Okay, I think that really is this time everything I had to ask about. Um, again, I apologize for being distracted and scattered and not a very good <laughs> filmmaker, <laughs> but thank you for your help. Bye-bye.